question we often get asked at call is about converting paper or printed worksheets to digital or to a format that can be read aloud using text-to-speech by a device such as an iPad, an Android or even a, a Windows uh, laptop. This can be of particular help to learners who have literacy difficulties, who are print disabled, possibly due to sight loss, or maybe they have the learner has difficulties holding a book, uh, again maybe down to poor fine motor skills. So the question is, is it possible to take a photo or scan a worksheet of a printed material or printed materials such as books and worksheets and convert them into readable or accessible text? Well, yes it is, and there are different options or apps including built-in tools to choose from. I'm going to show five different ways of methods. So these will be the free seeing AI which is uh, a free app designed by Microsoft, uh, really designed for visually impaired learners. I'm going to look at the Claro Scan Pen for learners with reading or dyslexia type difficulties. Also look at the Microsoft Lens, again, a good option for learners with reading difficulties. This is the Android app, but it's also available for Google Play. I'm um, going to look at the Microsoft OneNote for Windows and the uh, free notes app that comes with the iPad that also has uh, a built-in uh, sort of OCR optical character recognition um, feature as well. So to get started I'm going to use Seeing AI. So let's go to the iPad and I'm going to turn on Seeing AI, it's just down here at the bottom. To, to the so Roman roads. Within four years of invading Britain in AD 47, the Romans had built over one. Out of the office miles of roads they first arrived, the Roman army had to use the old grass and mud tracked ways which the... Okay, so that's the Seeing Eye app and you can see it's just a case of hovering over the iPad or the iPhone over the worksheet and it reads aloud. Uh, a disadvantage of Seeing Eye is the choice of voices. They are limited and I think lack a natural sound. But seeing AI has many benefits, including recognising currency, objects and handwriting. So the next app I'm going to look at is Claro Scan Pen. Um, the thing I like about Claro Scan Pen is its simplicity. You take a photo of the printed text or the worksheet and it's just a case of touching or selecting the text that you want to read aloud. So let's just, here it is, down at the bottom. Uh, I'll just tap on onto it to, to bring it up. And I've taken the photo and now all it is is a case of just tapping onto the text. When they first arrived, the Roman army had to use the old grass and mud trackways which the Britons had used. These trackways were sometimes thought to be able to move so wherever you tap, of, the army was given the important task so very, very of planning easy, and building roads. To use. These roads. So that's Claro Scan Pen. The other app, or the next app I'm going to look at now, is Microsoft Lens. So th this is um, a good option for, for learners with reading difficulties, similar to Claro. It works slightly differently. So if I tap on Microsoft Lens, here it is. Let's just tap onto it. And here's the worksheet, same one as before. I'm going to click on Done. I've scanned it in. There's options there to add text, to rotate, crop, etc. But I'm happy with that one. I'm just going to click on Done. And what's really good about a Microsoft Lens is that if you take a picture of the worksheet you can send it to one of these options say for example Microsoft Word or PowerPoint but what I want to de demonstrate just now is Immersive Reader because it has Immersive Reader built in so let's tap on to Immersive Reader just give it time to you need Wi-Fi for this but just give it time to convert it and and there it is so um, for those of you familiar with Immersive Reader, you can see that you can easily change the text size, you can make it bigger, uh, you can change the colour background as well, lots of background options to choose from, and of course it has the line focus in there as well, so let's just tap on line focus, and it has the picture dictionary, so let's just tap on some of those words. And it's got the picture dictionary in there. So that's really a fantastic tool. So if you think from from um, that, you know, for that Word document that we had, or that image that we had, to, uh, let's go back again, from that, really, to Immersive Reader, it's really a, a, a fantastic option. 
Uh, the next one is uh, looking at OneNote. So I'm going to bring one, OneNote, and this is OneNote for the um, for the laptop, Windows laptop that I'm using. So essentially, I've inserted an image here, and what I'm going to do is just right click on the image, and you can see there's an option there, Copy from Picture. So if I click on Copy from Picture, let's just scroll down a bit, and I'll paste Control and V to paste that in. And we now have that option where we can make the text. We've got editable text and we can sort of start working with it. Um, so for example, let's just try Immersive Reader. Go into Immersive Reader again. And there it is. It's taken that text and we can play Such it Such bracelets were also very rare. And we can also do as we did before. Use the various colour options. Uh, do the... Um, picture dictionary as well that's there and have it read by bracelet so that's a, a, a really really good feature and uh, of course we could then go in let's just go back to home and we could just get that text from there and maybe make it bigger just start editing it um, and spacing it out a bit but essentially if you're just wanting to scan it and have it read back in immersive reader it's it's a really good feature so the, the last one I want to look at is the is the Notes app. So I'm going to bring up the uh, Notes app, or even without even using Notes, I'm actually just going to go into, into the Photos app here. So I think I have it. So here's the Photos app. So I could actually just import it into the Notes app, but I'm going to do this straight from Photos. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap onto... Um, Onto the tech, and you can see the pop-up menu. I'm not sure if that's coming. I can't. It's coming through the screen. I can see an option to speak. When? So let's just drag that out, and there's an option to speak that text. So let's just. When they first arrived, the Roman army had to use the old grass and mud trackways which the Britons had used. These trackways were sometimes thousands of years old and often went up and down hills for reasons that nobody could remember. They were very difficult to travel along. Now, unfortunately, you can't see it for some reason on the mirroring as I'm mirroring across the iPad, but it highlights it in blue and then it, it speaks to it aloud. And of course, we could just then pinch. Let's pinch that so you can see it a bit better. Um, and then if I tap onto the, the words, there's a pop up menu and I can do things like spell. Capital R. O. M. A. N. So that's directly from the Photos app, but obviously we could then maybe copy that text into notes, um, but it's, it's a great option. Mm -hmm.